So some of you asked me what my gears are on my druid. So I will show you right now. My set is not yet full, but it's quite good. So let's start with the weapon. The weapon is a simple Kamehameha runeward. It gives me crit roll skills, very fast attack speed, like some damage, some deadly strike, but the reason I keep it is because of the teleport, because I like teleporting around, especially in town. My armor is armor of the wind with two uh, jewels that give all skills, like one of them gives one to druid and one of them gives all skills, so it's in the total four, plus some extra perks. My helm is Hikaru, runeward, three tall skills, some resistances which are very useful and better chance of magic items, so it's very good for farming. My amulet is this one, 2-2 two, two druid, 1-2 two summoning, and fastest hit recovery, crushing blow, and some other stuff. Very good for um, a summoner build. My shield is Hir Hiruma runeward with 2-2 two, two skills, and some resistances, some better chance, life and mana. These boots are quite bad, and I need to change them, for now I just keep them because of uh, all resist and extra gold and better chance for, of magic items but I need to change them to something better and I also need to change this ring so I need to find another of the, those like two to all, all skill levels a lot of crushing blow, deadly strike strength, vitality, attack rating much better than this one even if this one gives quite some resistances I am maxed out almost and with this spirit that also gives the new spirit gives plus 58% all skills uh, all, resi all resist it's quite enough so if I go here with the spirit on let's see oh it doesn't actually work oh it only resist for the spirit sorry my bad <laughs> go back to home forget I said that so it, it's the resist of the summon so yeah it's good to have this ring also then because without it I have low resistances that's something to consider the belt is this uh, unique harness of the gods that gives one to all skills and it has one jewel one to druid skill levels and some resistances some stats and Yes, that's all it offers and for the um, uh, gloves I have this one which gives at attack speed crushing blow deadly strike and some other stuff this is the best I have for now I will change them in the future both the boots and the gloves now let's look to the charms so I have this harmony this is a rune ward. I have a video on how to increase in uh, increase the noob charm to a veteran charm, and then you can socket it and rune ward it. This is the rune ward I chose. Doesn't give all skills, but it's increase it increases my HP, my mana. Has 20% almost physical resist and 20% other stuff, which is very good. Uh, this is the node charm, so this is the unique charm. You, I can also soak at this, I will do it later, after I learn the recipe. It gives to 12 skills and some extra perks. I had this with one to shift shifting, since I am maining a warbear build. Which is the strongest on, on Druid right now. I have this small charm, for some mana in life, stolen per hit and some resistances pretty nice it takes only one space this unique charm again for all resistances mo mostly and this unique charm with one to all skills and just some small charms damage augmenter of course and a little small charm also okay let's sell this and just showcase my warbear useless 
Pull skills, nice. Okay, let's kill them for now. Next, let's summon the bear also. So I'm players three. Let's go four and as you can see I'm pretty tanky and I did lots of damage. Even if it is player four. There's something actually, let's see. Oh, from the sword. Anyway, I killed most things pretty fast except the immune to physical ones, which hardly die. Nice look at this. But at least nothing gets close to me. But I do this. That's enough. Let me also show you my skills. So I mainly maxed the shockwave, lycanthropy, and warbeer, and then maxed the spirit of nature, which gives you lots of perks: run, walk speed, attack speed, damage, attack rating, and max life. So it gives you all of the perks of the previous spirits. And then I maxed the grizzly, and just added the point into feral mastery also. So this is the new summoning line, you can, now the, each wolf has skills he can use and also the raven has a skill which deals lightning damage, it's pretty cool. The summon grizzly now has shockwave, that's why I'm maxing it, so it's double the shockwave. And just this is a little teleport stuff that when you teleport all of your summons go haywire. So that's my main build. This is like my main build in the game right now. Because it's quite strong as you've seen. If I go... Let's try this. So if I go players 1 in cow's hell, I literally one hit everything most likely. So yeah, as you can see one hit, or two, and if I charge those to the mall, to charge it up, now I deal even more damage.
And if and if I jump between the house look. They barely scratch me. Like not at all. Okay guys, that's all, that's my okay. druid right now, yes. thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe, see ya.